Some educational activities for the kids this summer. Alice is checking out the Paper Discovery Center in Appleton. Hi, Allison. Hey, good morning. I've never been here before, but there's a lot to look at. Uh, you can make your own paper, look at different exhibits, and uh, coming up this summer, they have some different uh, science activities for you to do with Barb Sauer, who's going to show us a few of them. Good morning. Good morning. So we promised we're going to light something on fire. Right? Yes. Oh, well, you want me to get right to sure, that? Sure, let's do All it. Right. <laughs> so with paper, of course. This is the old, they call it onion skin paper, and in the days of the copiers, they'd put this in, you know, the copy paper that you'd write through. This would protect it until you were ready to transfer oh. that copy paper. But okay. what's going to happen is it's going to burn down, and the thermal energy will rise. The hot, hotter air rises because it's less dense, and then it will take the flaming ashes away. There it goes. Now we have to catch it when it comes back down. <laughs> but that's uh, that's what next week's activity is going to be, yes. right? Thermal energy? Yes. Next week at the science series will be, the topic will be thermal energy. Okay. And we were showing some of this paper earlier. How does this work? Well, there's two different types. Mm -hmm. This one is actually made from the paper company in town, Appleton Papers. And um, it started off as a project called a cigar box printer for the NASA program for space exploration. And they wanted a very small, lightweight printer. And so rather than have ink you have to refill in the mechanical parts, they put the ink in the paper. And then it's heat sensitive so that when you heat it, it will show. So cool. like this label, and to be honest, probably a lot of labels and receipts that you get at the store, is all printed not with ink with letters going, but with a thermal pad that has hot spots wherever the letters show up. Okay. So this is an example. So if you want, if you get a receipt the next time in the store, you can run your fingernail as you did before mm -hmm. and see if that receipt is thermal paper and okay. is printed like this. Interesting. And it takes a special printer, but they're much faster and like I said, no uh, need to replace the ink. So um, here's another example where you have something coated, maybe a surprise, and then you heat it by friction and rubbing, and then you get the picture afterwards. Okay. Now there's also on the other side, and we got this stuff from a company, WS Packaging, that makes labels like this. This one is a chill and win. You don't see anything until you get it cold, and then you see, oh, I want a dollar. You want a dollar. How neat. And it disappears once you get it hot again. So all the different applications that uh, might be in our everyday life that thermal energy we didn't even think about it yes absolutely this is the applied science taking the knowledge of what thermal energy is which is some, something's hot it has mm -hmm. more thermal energy than something that is cold okay thanks so much Barb so again next week if you come uh, to the paper discovery center you can do the thermal energy activities and uh, coming up we'll show you some more of the activities throughout the summer that they'll be doing okay thanks Allison see ya mm -hmm.